In Abbotsford, this is Keith Doby for The Express. intelligent consumers. You want to shop and you want to feel good about it? Well, we're going to start with fashion. Deirdre, tell us, your clothing's made out of some really interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, most of our clothing is actually made from recycled fibers. We're trying to focus on um, doing sustainable fabrics instead of focusing on organic product because we don't want any more of uh, the Earth's resources to be used to manufacture product. And like the jackets behind me and this fleece piece right here are made of recycled pop bottles. So it takes about 75 plastic pop bottles to uh, be recycled and then produced to make one zip neck. But it still looks really nice. I can feel it here. It's super soft. It's really soft. In BC, sustaining your style is easy. Lots of shops offer eco-friendly fashions. But what about when it comes to your home decor? Do you have to compromise quality and design to do your part? No, not if you're talking to Toby from Propeller Design. Sustainability, within I think within the next five years, we'll stop talking about it. It will be the only, it will be the way. Right now, it's you know it's a buzzword, and a lot of designers are moving that direction. Everyone knows, you know it. We know now that what the problems are, and being people that make things, we have a responsibility to make things that don't harm the environment, to actually add to the material culture without destroying the environment. When we're discussing sustainable living, there are so many buzzwords and catchy sayings, right? Zero footprint, sustaining your style, or my favorite line from Jorgen Olaf, green is the new black. But it's important to remember what these words represent, like talking fair trade with Stacy from Level Ground Trading, a Victoria-based company who've been talking the talk and walking the walk for 10 years. For us, we believe fair trade is about relationships with farmers in developing countries, and we have those types of relationships in five different countries with cooperatives of family-owned farms. We import primarily coffee from those regions, but also dried tropical fruit and cane sugar. And our goal is to look at the actual cost of living and production, so that in their community, they're receiving a price that's reflecting sustainability for their communities. That's what it means for us. A price that's fair. That's right. Yeah. From food to fashion, home to health, technology to transportation, which we'll look at coming up, the Epic Sustainable Living Expo aims to help us make conscious choices in all areas of our lives. There's no cooling system, there's no lube. And apparently sustainable living involves uh, flow yoga too, you know, for that good health. And speaking of good health, great news for the health of junior hockey in Vancouver. We heard recently that the Vancouver Giants are going to be staying put at the Pacific Coliseum for at least the next decade. And I am apparently way behind. I'm very happy to announce this morning that the PE and the Vancouver Giants have reached a lease agreement.